And then when you put your enemy in a stupor, you know, the stars going around their face, you can grab them. And when you grab them, you can like hit them a lot or you can throw them. That's exciting. I feel pretty powerful when I'm able to do that. I'm like, yeah. Hello, my name is Laihua and welcome to the Superfina channel where we like to review games by sharing our impressions and how we played the game. And today's game we're going to talk about is River City Girls, published by Wayford. Now, I like games from Wayford, so I had high expectations because I like to play Shante and Shante is really cute. It's fun, it's easy to play, and it's enjoyable. So I had high expectations for River City Girls, a brawler beat em up, a type of game that I don't normally play. And I was expecting this to be really fun because it's way forward, duh. And it met my expectations. It did. It met my expectations. I was very excited. I was very happy about it. So let me explain why. Let's start with the story. It's about these two girls, Kyoko and Misako. They are high school girls. They're kind of delinquents and their boyfriends just got kidnapped. Their boyfriends are known to be powerful fighters. They were featured in previous games. So it's really exciting that in this game, they're featuring the girlfriends. Other than that, they're out to save their boyfriends and they have to go all over River City, find some information and fight people to get that information and progress to save their boyfriends. All of the characters have personality. Like Kyoko and Misako, they are fitting with their delinquent characters. Kind of ditzy, kind of like the brawler mentality. Not really thinking too much, but very single-minded, straightforward. It's, hey, I'm looking for my boyfriend. Give me the information or else. That's the type of mentality they have. And it's so funny because we have Misako. She has that tough, aggressive attitude where it's, if you don't tell me where my boyfriend is, then I'm gonna beat it out of you. While Kyoko has that ditzy single-mindedness where it's, I love my boyfriend, sorry I beat you up, but have you seen him? <laughs> it really plays off the character's personalities. <laughs> and it's not just the girls who have personality. Every person we interact with in this game has a backstory that created their persona in the game. So why did I like River City Girls? Let me tell you why. It's because it's adorable, it's easy to play, and I got the mechanics. Now, they're going all over River City to look for their boyfriends, but everywhere they go, there's people who want to fight them. So that's where we go into the brawler beat em up mode. So it's, you know, left, right, punch, punch, kick, kick, and we get to learn moves throughout the game. It's not hard to learn. It's really easy. They do give you tutorials as you go, but I do have a bone to pick. I wish I learned block early in the game because my butt was getting kicked so much. If I knew what block was, I would have not died as much. And dying is cute. When we die, it goes continue and then it makes a heart and goes right at us. I call it the heart of death. In two player mode though, when there's two of us and one of us dies, instead of the heart of death, the soul of our character leaves our body and we can't play again until our fellow player enters another room. As soon as they enter another room, then the game allows us to join back in. I played Kyoko and I was pleasantly surprised with her. Her moves had the dab and the dragon feet and the dab, it's like this, it's literally the dab and it's like a sonic Boom, but you have to go forward. So you're like going boom. You knock down the enemies and you can knock them down like this, boom. And it will knock the other enemies behind that person. I was like, oh, ooh, and I like hitting more than one enemy. That's my favorite thing to do. If I can hit more than one enemies, I'm like, yes, less work for me. <laughs> 
other than that, Kyoko also has this move called Dragon Feet, and she does like this jungling move where she's like going <laughs> with her legs. And when I'm playing her and I use that move, in my head I'm picturing myself doing like this, <laughs> but through her feet. I enjoy the game mechanics. I like the punching, I like the kicking, I love grabbing items and whacking my enemies with them because they hit them hard. And there's some where you can hit multiple enemies and I just see them getting knocked down. I'm like, <laughs> don't mess with me. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, I only had one good move and that was a jumping stomp move. I spammed that thing out and I spammed it out because I learned it through leveling up but once I got to the dojo the dojo I bought my moves and I started using the dragon feet and the dab and some other moves I was like yes I'm powerful yeah yeah I'm powerful and the more expensive the move the more powerful it is so I was trying to save up money to get those moves and Finally, I was able to learn the block and the block is effective. Like they go like this and it does block off the enemy's attacks. And then you just wait, you let them hit you. And when you're ready, you're patient enough, then you get to move and knock them out. Sometimes when your enemies are weak, they're gonna beg for mercy. They're gonna be like, please, please. And you're gonna be able to recruit them. When you're recruiting your enemies, you can use L and then they'll show up and do one hit. But it's best to be kind of particular about who you pick because some are weak and some are powerful. But you gotta find out as you play and that's what happened to me. I thought the girls who did like the roundhouse kit were powerful. Not really. I was like, that's it? Really? And some of them? do different attacks like there's a cheerleader she did a jump kick and for her you have to press l and then your enemies has to be here and then you want to make sure that she's going to like enter from a distance because she's going to be like down kick that person <laughs> and i had to learn that as i went and the menus to get to the menu you use their phones and kyoko's phone has a bear case it's so cute and it is so me i was like girl you are my inner brawler you the bomb i'm so glad i picked her and misako's phone since she's more tomboyish her phone looks busted it has cracks on the screens because she's rough anyways so through the phone, you can go through the maps. It will show you where you need to go with an exclamation mark and areas you haven't gone to. It's going to be kind of like shaded, be like, oh, you haven't gone here. And sometimes there's a reason why we haven't gone there. And that's because we didn't have a key. Yes, there are going to be some rooms that are locked. And for me, I like to be complete with the menu. If I see an area that I have not ventured in, I'm going to look for it or I'm going to find a way to get there. And if I can't get there right away, I know I will be able to later on. And I'm going to go back. Speaking of going back, there is fast travel and that is through the bus. Yes, the bus. So every area we've been to, we can catch the bus and go there. So for someone who wants to complete the menu but couldn't at that time, I can go back. Once I get that key to enter those rooms, I can venture it, discover, explore. Back to the phone. So through the phone, we can also look at our recruits. And the recruits, it's like Pokemon. They show you who you can recruit. And there's different recruits per character. Like there's some that look the same, but they have different skin color, different hair. And it will show which variations you got of that enemy. In that area for the recruits, it just shows a shadowy figure and you're like, I know which one that is. So I go to fight those enemies and I am hoping they're going to beg for mercy. I'm like, yes, I'm going to get you. And then there are times that I'm so into defeating the enemies that I miss the whole mercy icon and I defeat them before I could recruit them.
Then there's the accessories. The accessories are so cute. There is a Tamagotchi, there's a makeup kit, there's a lipstick or pepper spray, and there's other items and they're drawn so cute, adorable. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get them all. And we can only get these items through shopping or drops. And the drops are usually our rewards through quests or completing an area. Another part in the phone is our stats. So it's going to show our level, how much more experience we need to get to the next level, what's our stats, and it shows our inventory. Now our inventory is going to consist of food, and the food helps replenish our stamina. Our stamina is our health, and once our stamina gets down, we need to eat food to replenish it. I have a bad habit of not paying attention to my health bar, and I tend to diet a lot. I got that heart of death quite frequently. We can get food by drops from our enemies, but the easiest way is just to buy them from stores. So there's ice cream, there's candy, there's sushi, and there's all kinds of food and they cost money. And we get our money by defeating our enemies, beating them up and taking their money. Like a lot of games, there's going to be cutscenes, and these cutscenes look amazing. They look like an anime, and I hope there's going to be like a spin-off, like a TV show on base of this game, because it looks amazing. I'm someone who watches anime all the time, like on Country Row, I have a show every day to watch, okay? I am able to watch something, at least one thing, every day. And these cutscenes from River City Girls, oh my gosh. I really enjoyed this game. It got pretty addicting, especially when I got in the boss fight and I knew I was able to beat that boss and I was not going to give up. I got that heart of death a lot, but I leveled up and I got more powerful and I got smart. I learned the patterns of that enemy and I kicked their butt. Therefore, I got that great satisfaction of that victory. Yes. And that's our Superfina review on River City Girls, an adorable brawler beat em up published by Wayforge. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Any comments, questions, opinions, leave them in the comments below. Talk to me. I'm also available on social media at Lehua Superfina on Twitter and Instagram. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina on Tuesdays and Thursdays. 4.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time and Saturdays, 9.30 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. Thank you all for watching. My name is Lehua and this was my Super Fina review of River City Girls, an adorable brawler beat em up published by Wayford. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, everyone. Bye!